showing the wire. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> um, today is the last day that I'm technically like the class teacher of my class. It's their end of the year ceremony and they are going to be advancing to P3. I feel like I have lots to say, but it's a really nice day outside. I think there's a lot that I've been through this year, um, including getting bitten and stuff. <gasps> Ooh, also, because I accidentally I attached my UV filter to a soft filter and then I screwed them together too tight so I can't like take them apart. So I've put them in the freezer because that's what someone on Google said. So um, they said to put it in for 15 minutes and I just put a timer on my watch like this. They're like approaching 9 a.m. in the morning and the kids are supposed to come in at 9.50, but we think that they might come in earlier than that. So this classroom will be filled with children in approximately 20 minutes to 30 minutes because there are kids that will decide to come in early for no real reason. It is such a crazy thing to think that today's my last day like as their like teacher. And put in quotation marks because I'm going to also be helping out with their summer school. So I will be seeing some of them for the next two weeks until I finish my contract on the 2nd of August. Maybe I will film some of it, but also different because I'm working with kids, so. We'll have to see how that goes. I think that's all I wanted to say. I have five minutes before I have to check in with the filters in the freezer. Is this overexposed? It might be. We are back in my nice little P2 classroom and yesterday, yeah, I said goodbye to them yesterday. I've had a lot of students tell me, oh, my satellites are wow. Yeah, we've got a bunch of clutter in this classroom because we just cleared it out. They don't keep, stay in the same classroom, basically. I think like a part of this is sort of like ego because it's a part of me that when they were leaving, I was a little bit like, say goodbye to me to prove that, you know, I'm worthy of like your adoration, but you know, we're just people. Even then, I think there's still a lot that I have to learn about teaching, which I will be doing next year. I mean, in the coming academic year. And then later on, I'm going to help out with the sales of school merch. It's a nice day. I I've spent most of this morning after coming to work packing up my desk space. I had gotten rid of a lot of like the papers, for example, the worksheets workbooks, random loose papers. You know, I think my past self would definitely have wanted to keep just out of like sentimental value. I've kept some, but like, I think a part of growing up is also like learning to let go of old things. And I've always had problems with letting go with physical things and also memories and like, you know, <laughs> I can't believe it's the end of my first job, my first full-time job, my first like adult thingy but i'm going back to studying anyway so i think that'll be different to work a first job has been so scary and difficult to adjust to because it is my first time and like, i have to learn to give myself grace for that hopefully like next year with um it being partly academic studying partly placement i think it'll be a good like transition period or like readjustment period and i'd also like to learn more about how to be better at doing what i want to do but yeah, I think I've been quite hard on myself this year when I didn't have to be. I need to be okay with not being good at something immediately. <laughs> okay, it's the end of the recording, boys. Wouldn't it be nice? Maybe if we think I'm wishing I could pray and pray come true. Okay, hi, welcome, good morning. I'm actually having some problems with this small camera. So I went to get it fixed the other day, but I think there's some other problems with it. It doesn't really perform functions. Even when I press it, it just says busy. 
and doesn't perform the function. So right now I'm on my way to get a matcha latte from Starbucks, which I know is a new low for me, but what can you do? I don't have a whisk or a matcha bowl at home, which is why I'm just gonna head out to quickly just have maybe a bit of food or just some matcha from Starbucks before I go and meet up with Marcus for church. We shall see. I'm about to cross the road, so burp. figured out the problem that is with my camera and it turns out that because I haven't inserted this specific SD card into this camera before so it was having trouble like figuring out the formatting I didn't um, film in the past two days because I was sick on Friday and then on Saturday I actually had work just too much today the plan is to go to church and then I will have to write some of my goodbye my farewell cards for my colleagues and then I will also go to one of my pastors' pastorization. I'm going to one of my pastors like confirmation ceremony thing. Oh uh, what am I doing with myself? Matcha's okay. Could be worse. But it's not like the best, but it's fine. We're back on the street. I'm going walking back to Yamate station so I can take the MTR to Kowloon Tong, which is where I will be meeting Marcus. I kind of regret getting like a grande size because this is actually a bit too much for me at this moment. A bit too much milk to be specific. I think I should have gotten just a tall. Look, you don't follow me just because I make excellent vlog content because the truth is I don't and I'm always embarrassed about filming in public but I'm doing so much filming in public right now. Hopefully this is a step in me overcoming concerns about other people thinking that I'm weird or bizarre which actually, you know what, I kind of already am. Okay, look at that. I really love the Kowloon Sun Reposal office building just across the road. But yeah, it's a really nice day actually. There's supposedly a Typhoon 3 that's supposed to be coming in this afternoon, but I'm really not feeling that yet. Look at how beautiful Hong Kong is. This is the most ugly shot I've ever taken in my life. Good evening, I come to you live and slightly sweaty from the inside of my current bedroom. It's 9.30 and I should actually sleep really soon, but the thing is, there is a typhoon going on and I'm really, really praying that it will be typhoon 8 and school will be cancelled because I have not finished writing my thank you and goodbye cards to my colleagues. And it would also be awesome if I didn't have to go to work, so praying that the weather will come through. Reporting live from my bedroom, it is officially Typhoon 8 outside. Oh, it's not focusing, but basically it's storming and raining and windy. And when I woke up this morning, okay, I looked at the weather forecast and they said it was Typhoon 8. I was like, that means I don't have to go to work, right? I went to the Education Bureau's website. They said schools are closed today. That means I don't need to work, right? But this entire time, I woke up around 5.30 and it's now um, almost 9. Haven't gotten a single message from my school 
about anything because the last time that there was a typhoon they messaged us being like oh nobody needs to come in today just as a confirmation but we still don't know what's going on if there's any changes in the afternoon once the observatory lifts the signal 8 warning so at least got sleep in today I know I may look objectively insane doing this, but right now it's now 4.30 and the Hong Kong Observatory has just declared that it is now Typhoon Signal 3. I got so bored in the house that I was like, I have to go out for a walk or get like an ice cream or go to McDonald's or something. I've gotta tell all my friends why I got home so early Do you tell your friends about me? Definitely had too much to eat. I should have just gotten a small fry and the McFlurry. So something I've always loved about the MCR in Hong Kong is that if you don't want to travel overground from point A to point B and you know that point B is quite close to an MTR exit and it's raining, you can just briefly slip underground and avoid the rain. Just like how people like are just out here. From the king of disappointment But nobody's calling you your majesty I'm not your jester for enjoyment The kingdom of letdowns you'd be royalty Hello gamers! <coughs> it's Tuesday, I'm back at work um, I'm mostly just watching the kids. I'm not teaching them. I'm watching them in their classrooms as they are taught by the native English teachers. There's not much I'm doing. Just coughing at the back of the classroom, doing random things. But the good thing is, I did finish writing all of the cards that are meant for my colleagues. Wrote a bunch of cards because I'm leaving and it's just to say thank you and goodbye to them because I think everybody here deserves it probably. I'm really tired, wish I was in bed, but thanks to the typhoon yesterday, it's only four day work week this week and they also cancelled the Saturday meetings. There was supposed to be a meeting on Saturday and that would have been three Saturdays in a row this month that I would be at work, but they cancelled that now so thank you Jesus. <laughs> and then I also had a breakfast, nice breakfast this morning because I thought we had to come into school at 7.35 but it turns out no we don't need to be in until 7. I mean, we don't need to be in until 8. This is like the most low energy video I've probably had. Can't wait. Can't wait for lunch. And to give my colleagues their presents and cards. It's hard from your throne to see all the mistakes that you make. Hello and welcome. So today I'm covering a teacher that has to meet her new like P1s and I need to be back in the classroom about two minutes. My throat, good, is not an adjective I would use to describe how my throat feels right now. Like I literally woke up like partway through last night and it just literally felt like my throat was like dry and like someone had poured a bucket of sand down my throat. It still feels like that now but I'm drinking lots and lots of water. And then next one is like the last one and it's full of like really lovely kids that I've known part of P2 so hopefully that'll be best. Like I think, I think the first lesson went really well. It's one of the best lessons that I've felt like walking out of. Like I actually felt like I did something. I can leave at one today. I have reason to believe I can leave at one from now on until the end of my contract so that's really that's really hopeful and lovely yeah so currently I'm on my merry way to yoga I'm still feeling a bit sick and phlegmy I really I'd really like to go K 
case you're wondering how yoga went, I was absolutely wrecked. I'm definitely still very much a beginner. I can't do anything super advanced. Uh, there is a point when the instructor was holding me and I was like, oh my god, let me down, let me down. At this point, my voice was kind of gone and it was really hard for me to go, oh my god, I want to get down. But I did my first supported headstand today in my entire life. I need to celebrate the little milestones, I guess. Okay, so it's dinner time. Tell me I'm crazy while avoiding me Can somebody tell me what the point is Chasing the king of disappointment Get your men, get your horses Gather all your forces While you hold up in your palace We'll all raise a child to the king of disappointment But nobody's calling you your majesty I'm not your jester for enjoyment A kingdom of land, now you be royalty Call me the queen of paranoia Tell me I'm crazy Good morning, long time no chat. I am back in McDonald's and I am having a what is it called? A kids meal? Mmm, English. It's how I sound what you time. Happy meal. I'm having a happy meal because I can't finish like a full like adult meal. There's pancakes, there's butter and syrup here, and then I've got a small orange juice and a corn cup. Now I only need to be at work at 8. I actually have like a decent amount of time that I can spend before I need to get on the bus and head off to work. But basically I haven't been speaking a lot because after I got sick the last time, it didn't completely go away. So I ended up being like sick again for like a few days where I all I did was cough not talk a lot. Yesterday I went to Machili, which is really good, and then I met up with um, someone that I met in, when I was in Edinburgh visiting Audrey, and it was in the Hong Kong club and it was so fancy. I've never been to the Hong Kong club in my entire life because it's for people that have affluence, which I don't. But it was really cool. I think we had a really good chat, and I think it's quite rare for me to vibe with someone quite well. I think like it's harder to make friends once you get older quite nice when you do find someone that you can vibe with. And it's the same vibe, like it's a cool word when it's not. It's currently 6.32 in the morning. I'll finish my pancakes really quickly and then I will be getting on the bus to work. And today is Friday, which means Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The last day of work is Wednesday. I had an awful night's sleep last night. Like I woke up at two for no reason, feeling like I hadn't slept at all. But then today, I'm eating more for dinner, but I forgot to bring my battery pack and my iPad because I'm starting to do some of my readings for my master's program. But and I was like, oh, I'm going to hang out with Marcus today, so I don't need to bring my iPad. But then I realized I do have a huge gap between like me finishing work and meeting Marcus. So.
Hello and welcome to my hair reveal. It's like a bit like brown and a bit of gray and as you may be able to tell it's now the 5th of August which means I have three days to pack and get ready for the UK. I have been trying to wrap this video up for the past few days. I don't know if it's been obvious or not. It's probably not that obvious because I'm very bad at like wrapping up videos. Basically, I got my hair done yesterday and then I didn't get home until like one because I ended up going to say hi to an old classmate in Central and basically I went to Joyce's flat. We attempted a puzzle and then they were going out so here we are. Yeah, the past few days I've just been recovering from the end of work, honestly. I can't believe it's the fifth, so today is the third day since I did my last day. I feel like I don't have enough time to process like the past whole year before I even start my master's because today is Saturday and then I will go to London this coming Tuesday and so right now I'm like trying to get everything together I'm trying to get stuff packed and ready I feel like my trip in the UK will go by really quickly it's like 10 days but it'll probably feel like five just because of like the nature of like how everything is coming at me and then before I know it like my masters will start going and there is a whole bunch of like pre-reading that we have to complete it's a lot to get done last night when I got home I was really it was really late I was really tired like the classmate I said hi to I basically haven't seen him since hi yeah, since high school graduation. Um, high school was like kind of rough. It like brought back all of these like feelings that I felt when I was 17, 18, 16 to 18. When I got home, it sort of felt like I was like split. Like I was every single age I was. It was really bizarre, I think, because like I think I've grown quite a lot in the past year of like work. I've been forced to grow up just because of like the nature of my work, the working environment and the things I experience, like for example, being bitten on the arm and then there are difficulties with their emotional processing and expression. And I end up almost like something similar to like carrying the weight of their emotions that they don't know how to fully express yet. And there's like a lot that goes into it. I'll definitely have a lot more thoughts about it later, I think. I'm still like way too close to the end of it. Like I'm so tired that I'm still processing stuff that happened to me before I started work. I think like life is just so full on that you inevitably have this like backlog of things that you have yet to process. And I just feel like, is this just gonna be the rest of my life? But yeah, it's over, it's done. And I just wanna doc document my two last two weeks and I hope it's been good. I think it's been really fun using a mic. Um, in my brain, I still haven't fully processed that I'm no longer a teaching assistant and I will be studying my master's in educational psychology. All right, thanks, bye.